Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sanj and I'm going to share with you a DIY keratin protein treatment at home. You must have heard that these DIY treatments, keratin protein treatments that we do at home will make your hair pin straight just like this in the photo. However, I'm going to tell you the truth. They will not make your hair pin straight like this in the photo. However, they will help define your ways, help define your curls, maintain your natural hair shape however it will definitely improve the texture your hair will look much bouncier healthier shiny and smooth my hair texture is curly and wavy so after all those treatments that i do at home my hair still are curly and wavy but they have more volume more texture more defined curls they look beautiful and they look healthy this treatment will help eliminate frizz and dryness from your hair and will give lots of moisture and bounciness. When we do keratin treatment outside in the salon, after applying chemical on our hair strands, each and every hair strands get straightened at least 7 to 10 times, which can lead to damage and hair fall over time. However, if we do these keratin protein treatments at home with natural ingredients, we will not have any side effects at all. Before starting with the DIY, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. You can connect with me on Instagram and if you want to watch this video in Hindi, I will leave the link in the description box for you guys. For this DIY treatment, I'm going to use coconut cream. I'm using coconut cream because it's a very thick. The reason uh, it's better than coconut milk is because it's not runny. The application will be easier and the thick consistency of this cream will apply evenly on your scalp and will give a lot of fatty acids to the hair. If you cannot find this particular coconut cream, then you can use the coconut milk that's in cans which are rich and creamy. I'm taking 2-3 to three spoons of coconut cream. You can take it according to your hair length. The next ingredient I'm going to take is aloe vera gel. I'm taking fresh aloe vera gel from leaf. You can use store-bought aloe vera gel as well. Now, coconut contains protein, lauric acid, vitamin E, iron, magnesium, phosphorus. Our hair is made of protein. Lack of protein leads to thinning of hair. Coconut milk is rich in protein and its usage will result in thick and bouncy locks. Lauric acid present in coconut milk binds with the hair protein and strengthens the hair. It stops the breakage of hair due to thinning. Vitamin E present in coconut milk will help with your conditioning of your hair. And iron is another thing that if you are low in iron, you will have a lot of hair fall and very less hair growth. Aloe vera on the other hand calms the itchy scalp, it helps with dandruff, it deep cleanses oily hair and it does not hurt your hair strands. It helps with strengthening and repairing your hair which will result in promoting hair growth and improve hair thickness. Now my next ingredient is rice water. The way I'm going to make this rice water is after boiling. I used less water while boiling the rice and the remaining of water after boiling the rice is very thick. Here you can see I've boiled the rice and there's very less water in the pan. I'm going to strain out the rice and only this much water is left at the end. It is quite thick and once it's cooled down, it's going to form as a gel. Add this rice water gel into the mixture and mix it very well. Rice water contains high protein. It penetrates deeply and improves the condition of the hair, making it bouncy and manageable. Never leave rice water overnight or for a longer period of time as too much protein can dry out your hair. Using rice water in mask like this where coconut milk is used which is very moisturizing is going to balance out the dryness of protein. After mixing it properly, I'm going to add my next ingredient which is glycerin. Glycerin attracts a lot of water. So if you add glycerin in any, any DIY mask, all the moisture from that mask will get absorbed which will result in moisturized and healthy hair. Add a small teaspoon of glycerin into this DIY mask and then mix very well. Last ingredient I'm going to add into this mask is essential oil. 
lavender essential oil i'm going to use dr organic lavender essential oil which helps promote hair growth if you don't have lavender oil you can use rosemary essential oil as well just add a few drops into this mask and your mask is ready to use apply this treatment on your scalp and hair strand from roots to end as you can see, my hair looks quite dry and brittle. I'm going to apply this treatment on my scalp, there's no side effect, and on my strands from roots to ends. You need to apply this mask in thick layers. And make sure you got this mask evenly coated all around your hair. After doing this treatment for about 3 to 4 times, you will see a big difference in your hair texture. Your hair will look more shiny, more bouncy, more healthy. Once I've got this mask all around my hair, I'm going to tie it up in a bun and then I'm going to cover it with shower cap or cling film. After shower cap, I'm going to wrap my head with warm towel. You can have a hot water, wet your towel and then squeeze out all the water and wrap that towel around your head. The steam from that towel will penetrate deeper in your scalp, which means you will take full benefits of this treatment. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I normally upload hair care and skin care videos regularly. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.